Hey guys, it's Jen here. Welcome to another edition of chatting with local businesses about what's going on with them right now and how we could support them. Today I have the privilege to be talking with Stacey Gabriel. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi. <laughs> how are you guys doing these days? Do you want to just maybe introduce yourself um, and just tell everyone a little bit about your business and your normal day-to-day -day operations? Sure. So uh, my name is Stacy Gabriel. I am a photographer. Uh, I specialize in weddings, families, babies. I do. Uh, I have an in-home studio in my home where I do newborn sessions uh, and stuff like that. Uh, my normal, my typical normal, depending on the season, of course, is uh, photographing weddings. Yeah, and hanging out with families, and yeah, I have a lot of fun. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And if you guys don't follow Stacy online, make sure you hop on her social pages. Uh, we'll make sure we have a link in there, but her work is phenomenal. And not to mention you do some charity work as well, which we're going to lead into your latest project um, in a moment here. But do you want to just share a little bit about how our current situation um, with what's happening it has changed your business? Um, and how your business has been impacted. Okay, well, so with everything going on right now, uh, we've had to make the decision to close our in-home studio. Uh, and that really means that I'm not doing any photo shoots right now. I'm not taking any current bookings for the foreseeable future. It's just, we're just not sure trying to keep everybody safe and our home safe. And so right now, uh, my yes, all booked photo shoots are going to be rescheduled. So you've just completely paused and will reschedule as able essentially. Yeah, it was actually today that I was to have supposed to have six spring mini sessions in my home, and so we had to reschedule those. So it's it's been tough. It's been you know it's been a hard decision to close. You know, and it's just it's challenging when you feel like you put your heart and soul into everything that you've created and you know planned and even like the spring mini backdrop like my husband and I were in there we, weeks ago we built it and we were ready to go but we just felt like it was the right decision to just shut it down for now right and I think you just touched on a really important point about basically small business um, especially small business and small community is it is for most of us, our heart and soul that we're put, putting into this and maybe have poured into it our um, savings, our time and our energy, right? And then for not only then our, our business or means of income being taken, but also our creative outlets and our passions to be paused or just changed for the time being anyways right when when I first had to close it was I had a real struggle internally because I feel like I'm a happy person when I'm doing what I love and for a while there I was just like what am I going to do I cannot see my clients I can't take any photos like how how am I going to be okay <laughs> honestly right. right so outside of just your career it's also something that helps with probably like your emotional well-being right absolutely it's an outlet for me it always has been and that's kind of how it started is that I, I I do it because I truly love it and it just makes me a happier person so, mm, I love that. and I've never been in a position where I can't do what I love because it could potentially harm people right so the thought of that was just scary Mm. Yes, I, I hear that for sure. Um, do you want to just tell us, I know your business, um, your regular business has kind of been halted or paused right now, but do you want to just fill everyone in on a fun project that you've started here in our community and sort of what led you to it and sure. logistics there? So as I was just kind of in a weird limbo state of what am I going to do? Like, you know, how, like, when am I going to pick up my camera again? How can I 
feel happy and make others happy if I can't do what I love. Uh, and then funny one morning, Katrina actually from party professionals forwarded a link to me, which was the front steps project. So it's a photographer in Boston who uh, very from a very safe distance um, goes to people's homes and then meet the family watches for them and they go onto their front step and they get a nice family photo. And it's kind of a way for when we're all feeling isolated and alone and not really sure what's going on. It's kind of just a fun way to spread cheer because you aren't seeing these people now at the yoga studio or you know, at the gym or at the grocery store because we're, we're all staying home. So this is just kind of a fun way to spread cheer. Uh, and I got super inspired by that because I was like, there's my, my way that I can go out and I can eat. I put on my zoom lens and, you know, from the street, you know, I can see my clients and I like, you know, at their doorstep um, and just get, you know, the fun smiles that I, that I love that just like fuels my, my fire. So that's great. And I knew it was going to be a really big success, obviously, because it's just such a cool project who wouldn't love it. Um, so I actually asked uh, Alyssa Rayanne photography and Kendra from Kitco photography, who are also my second shooters during wedding season uh, to join me. So we, we were covering the small towns around Brandon and Brandon itself. So it's really cool. Beautiful. And there's also a charitable, um, Kind of oh, yeah. as well. Do you want to that part of it? Yes, too? That, that's a that is a huge part. Um, so the people who are participating in our project also have an opportunity to step up in the community um, by leaving a non-perishable donation. You know, in their driveway or kind of we ask them to leave it where we park our cars so we can maintain that that safe distance. Right. Um, and then so we are gathering all the non-perishable donations. And then Ryan from Expressions Entertainment is doing a fill the trailer event. Yeah. And so he is sending his uh, collections to the Samaritan House Helping Hands and the Women's Resource Center. So I, I just knew that I wanted to take photos and make people happy and then, you know, collect these donations. And I was like, well, where can I take them so then I saw Brian was doing that so kind of connected that and was like hey Brian I'm gonna have a whole bunch of donations for you so come pick them up <laughs> oh, amazing I love that the collaboration and connection and I love too that um we talked with Katrina yesterday about how that whole the whole event industry has been impacted but I really love seeing the collaboration the community that continues to exist amongst those working in the event industry and now it's like you shifted your focus to like, how can we contribute to those who are most in need during this time yes yeah absolutely those who are impacted the most who may not have what they need you know and it's just the collaboration it just works for everybody so oh my gosh yes Thank you so much for doing that. Um, and then just before we wrap things up here, just wanted to ask you how the community could support you or your business right now during this time. Right now, the community can follow the proper guidelines and stay healthy so that we can all get back to work uh, right away as soon as possible. I'm ready, um, hopefully before wedding season. Uh, another thing that the community can do is if you have an event scheduled, think about postponing, don't cancel. A lot of the vendors in your area, we rely on on wedding season coming up in the next four or five months for our yearly, you know, livelihood. So by postponing, it is, it, it will help us a lot. Beautiful. And then, we, yes. Yeah. No All right. Problem. No, go ahead. <laughs> um, and if people are interested in gift cards for future photo shoots, I have those available. But for right now, I'm just focused on everybody getting healthy and so we can get back to work right away. Beautiful. I love that. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Stacy. And I'll make sure to include links for your uh, social media platforms. Another way that viewers can help is just to follow the pages and uh, do yourself a favor, actually check out her beautiful work, but follow, support, share, um, just even raising awareness about the stuff that Stacy is up to.
Thank you so much. Yeah, That's thank great. you. <laughs>